I don't like that. Yes, I do. Don't worry, baby. Relax. Oh, damn. I hear they're like a flu. Ew, that looks literally <laughs> disgusting. Bro, I'm not eating that. Can I get some water on standby? I'm gonna throw up. I would actually use water some days when we had no milk and I want a cereal. I will eat it with water. Oh, yeah, she struggles though. What, what is up, Halo Army? Me? It's your boy Milo. And what are we doing today, shorty? We are going to be surviving 24 hours off of our childhood struggle meals. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm extremely nervous. How you feeling, baby? So I don't know about y'all. The way we grew up, we didn't really have much. So like our struggle meals was like real struggle meals. It's gonna bring back a lot of memories. But before we start today's video, I wanna give my mother a lot of grace. <laughs> I don't wanna say I grew up struggling. Obviously I was not rich growing up, but I at least had food on the table. I had a mother that was willing to break her back to provide for her children. I'm beyond grateful for that. But there is no doubt, there were nights where we had to scrape together whatever the hell was left in the fridge. That's like a core memory for me. Like having to like go through the pantry and just try to whip up together like whatever I could find. We both picked out five different things. Breakfast, lunch, snack, dinner. I just numbered out five things. Oh, okay. <laughs> so we had similar ones, we had different ones. Obviously I come from a Hispanic culture, so we're gonna yeah. try each other's sugar meals too. So we are starting off with breakfast. <sighs> about noon right now we have not ate nothing my first struggle meal it would usually be our leftover rice that was made like the day before i was going to do this and i'll just put the whole pot in the fridge and like we had to eat <laughs> that, that just sound crazy we, <laughs> so for breakfast we would just get the rice out the fridge my mom would like fry up an egg eat the rice with the egg put some ketchup on top mm, mix yeah, it nah, with that's the rice. od rice for breakfast is that crazy it's a puerto rican thing so i was not about to make a whole pot of rice right now but that would usually be my typical breakfast Breakfast. Milo also has his breakfast item that so, I used to eat as well. Yeah. So we're both just gonna be eating that together today. Of course, we had our mornings where we ate pancakes, sausage. You can never go wrong with some cornflakes. These are good. My grandma used to always have these. Not frosted flakes, just regular plain cornflakes. Put some sugar on top. I'm gonna show you guys something I, I used to actually do like as a snack too. <laughs> I'll put cornflakes and sugar in a bowl. And, and I'll, dry. I'll scoop the sugar with a cornflake. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna show y'all. I will literally scoop the sugar. <laughs> I would actually use water some days when we had no milk and I want a cereal. I will eat it with water. I ain't eating dry cereal. Oh yeah, she struggled, struggled. You want a bowl, baby? No, we can just share. Woo! No, 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 we can't share. Did you used to eat your cornflakes with a spoon or a fork? Why the hell would I eat cereal with a fork? Because you can eat cornflakes with a fork. What is really wrong with you? That's not even right. This was actually so good. Like, I'm not actually, even gonna lie. So, look, let me show y'all real quick. So, I, I scoop up some sugar in the cornflake and eat it like a salsa chip. No, that's crazy. <laughs> Something is really wrong with you. You gotta put cereal in it first. I mean, no, sugar I, I, in it first. I do the sugar after. What? Why would you put sugar in there first? To sprinkle it over and then the milk goes over the sugar no, and dissolve that's it not all how equally. I did it. I'm actually excited for this. This actually looks fire. I ain't gonna cap. And then this is what I do. Just like sprinkle some sugar on Yeah, I do that before the milk. And then I will eat some. And then I'll have to go back to the sugar and like keep adjusting. Yeah. yeah. Okay, you ready? Girl, mix it in. No, I don't mix it in. That's how I do it. Well, you struggling Here. right now. So I'll let them cut. Nah. Ooh! You know it's good. Shut up. Yo, I ain't gonna lie, I missed that. Oh my god, literally like I wanna struggle I was like, again. <laughs> Don't say that. No. No, this is really like my childhood right here. It tastes like elementary. Let me know when you done so I can make mine. Mm-hmm. Mine mine is better. You got a little bit more. <laughs> Putting a milk spoon in the sugar is crazy. <laughs> I'm so bothered that you don't mix it in. At the end of eating that, I'll scoop the sugar from the bottom with the milk, have a oh, whole yeah. mountain of sugar. Yeah, I'm my favorite part too. I don't add like hella sugar to it though. Why are you seasoning your cereal? You gotta mix it in like this, you feel me? You gotta let the milk absorb yeah, the but sugar. Yeah, you gotta have some sugar sitting on top of the cornflake too. But that's it's the thing, you know it soaks up the sweet no, milk. No, no, you don't know how to make sugar. Still not no sugar. Yeah, you eat too much bread. You better come take some bites because this is all we can eat for breakfast, Give girl. Me some. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I like it on top. Go like this, clean off my spoon. That's actually a lot of sugar for one bite though. I ain't gonna cap. Okay, we're gonna do my time. My cereal needs some ice cubes though. Back in my day, we didn't have refrigerators, so we had to steal ice from the store. No, I'm lying. <laughs> for you to have a refrigerator? That's crazy. No, we had the ice trays though. Can, can cats eat cornflakes? Baby, you going crazy, bro. Save some for me. Now I'm gonna let you go ahead and keep seasoning the milk and then I'm gonna eat me some cornflakes with the seasoned milk. Milk. Do your thing, shorty. I'm hungry, bro. Mm, it's so good. 
I literally haven't had that in like 10 years. I'm not more than 10 years. I haven't had this as long as I've been older than a child. This tastes like home. Like, you know, like grandma's cookies. We need to start back eating this. We still got three to go. We about to start struggle milling every day. <laughs> this shit good. We'll see y'all for lunch. Um, I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all, so it's lunchtime. This is something we used to have like really often. My mom would always make it. I know it sounds nasty and you gotta try it, baby. I know you're not gonna like it. You got to try it. Three simple ingredients. This is our perfect lunch right here. Tuna in a can, an onion, and some mayo. We Disgusting, would mix bro. all this up. My mom will make it and I loved it as a kid. So I haven't had this literally in years since I was a kid. Have you ever heard of this before? Nah, but I'm already like feeling some type of way because everything that's right here is something I hate. I I hate tuna, I hate mayonnaise, and onions are literally the only ingredient that could go in any food that will make me not eat it. We ain't got no crackers, so that's typically what I would eat this with. Sometimes we use bread, so we're just gonna eat it with some bread. And my mom would just dice up the onions. Sometimes we didn't even have an onion, so. Um, <laughs> <laughs> why are you laughing? You so sometimes, do yourself like that. sometimes we didn't have onions, and if we didn't have onions, we would just mix it with mayo, and that was fine. It's just better with the onion. Crazy yeah. that people actually eat this. The cats. It literally smells just like their food. What the hell? That's a lot, bro. I ain't trying to disrespect your struggle meal, but this struggle meal is literally everything that I despise. Y'all in the comments, let me know if y'all if this was something that y'all ate. Yeah, please do. I don't know what it is. We used to eat this, so. They already smell it. They coming. It's not for you, Cielo. No. Y'all hear our cats in the background? Oh, yeah. These, these cats going crazy okay, right now. Okay, so. Onion in there. There's so much onion. I'm not putting all of it. You used to eat this, too? Yes, I would eat You ain't just joking? No, I'm not joking. Tuna, I'm just onion, serious. and may mayonnaise yes, with a cracker. Yes, some in there. Okay. Okay, go ahead. Mommy, this is not for you. And give me a little tuna sandwich like that. Ready? Hmm? <laughs> like that. It's just we'll the see. smell. How you remember? Mm -hmm. Ready, babe? Like, be open minded. Oh, I am. I am. I'm be honest with you, too. If I hurt your feelings, I just. Oh, you just gonna hurt my feelings? Babe, why would you smell it? And this was a struggle meal, or was this just something you used to just eat mm. because you liked it? I liked it, but. Give it a chance, babe. Give it a chance. <laughs> if it was like two, three o'clock in the morning, we were hungry, she would <coughs> whip this up. You're so funny, babe. Oh, my God. She babe, like what? it. Baby, that is so bad. You don't like that. Yes, I do. Well, you only bite the crust in. <laughs> I do like it better with crackers. I can't approve of this. What do you rate it? Oh, this is a zero. A zero? I give it a zero and a half. Like, just don't make this. <laughs> Kale tuna was really cheap, especially back in the day. Yeah, no, I agree. Yeah, that but was a, a pack of ramen noodles is cheaper than everything that we just got. No disrespect. <laughs> it's not disrespect. No disrespect okay. to you and your hood, gang. Are right, you ready for my struggle meal, baby? I'm sure this is really universal. You out of bread and you can't get up and go to the store and get bread for yourself because your mom ain't home. And all you got in the refrigerator is a pack of Oscar Myers. <laughs> Let me tell you how this is prepared. In the microwave. And you yep. just chop it up in the yep. little discs. Yeah, you eat it with some ketchup. Yes, ma'am, Ski. Yeah, I know this. I used to eat this all the time. We definitely didn't have hot dog buns. <laughs> so we would use regular bread and yeah. sometimes we didn't even have bread. So my mom would just heat it up in the microwave, just chop, chop it, it up for us. Sometimes I would even put it in a uh, ramen noodle. Okay, now. Nah. Not as good. Chopped up hot dog and ramen noodles. Yeah, there's such thing as gourmet ramen noodles, bro. No. Like, have y'all ever put like, put a little bit of cheese, put garlic powder in there. Oh yeah, like, season it up. Bro, yeah. yeah, bro, like, I wouldn't. So it's pretty simple. Grab one wiener, grab two wiener. You know what I hate about microwave hot dogs? They blow up. Sometimes it will bust open. Yeah. One thing about this, bro, like it heats up so quick too. It's already making that sound. I, I want it crispy though. You definitely got to let the hot dogs open just a little bit. Get that little brown char on the outside, you feel me? Babe, it's not a bust. I heard the little pop. The way that you're acting like you're really a chef right now is hilarious. Ah, shit. I don't remember hot dogs being this hot. We got scissors. <laughs> I actually ate this a lot more than I'm giving credit to. I ate this a lot too. As I got older and became more of an adult, I upgraded from ketchup to barbecue sauce. Oh, my favorite was like the ends. The ends, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. I really feel like a kid. It's exactly how I remember. I don't think we used to get Oscar Mayer. I think we used to get like Aldi brand or I think Oscar Mayer is like a luxury. No, it's not. Yeah, I don't like the way these taste for. I rate this struggle meal a eight out of 10. No, it's a good struggle meal. Yeah. And then when you feeling bossy, you can eat a few at a time for real, for real. I remember being at my grandma's house. <laughs> 
Should we do our snack? Let's go to the snack, yeah. There was days where I would eat this as breakfast, and then days where I would just eat it like a donut. Mine's really super nervous. quick. Please don't be okay. no freaking calamari shish kebab. It's all my Hispanics, I think y'all could relate. This was our snack. Chai Oh no, this is my lunch. Yeah, just eat it straight out the can. You're not supposed to be up here. Why didn't you drain it first? You're supposed to crack it, drain all that water out. Do y'all drain it before you fully open it or not? Yeah, you eat these before, right? Yeah. Eating meat out of a can, the concept of it just seems so disgusting to me, but we used to do it all the time. It's just like my child. The one thing I hate about these sausages, they break so easily. Because they're stuck in there. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. That was my quick childhood snack. What I'm about to make right now is a delicacy. Oh I'm actually God. mad that I haven't eaten this since I was a child. It wasn't a luxury to have, but it was like a luxury to eat. Like it's just, it feels, it's, it, it, it tastes that good. And some of y'all might already know. All you need is sugar, cinnamon, butter, and bread, and a toaster. You know what we also used to do as a kid, baby? Cinnamon chow. Oh yeah, I did that. <laughs> you don't do I it? I did that, no, I did it in school. So you take your toasted bread, you wish it for you guys. Is it on milk? <laughs> <laughs> One thing about struggle milk is all about struggling, you feel me? You gotta get through the trials and tribulations. Is he really struggling to make it? the freaking toast soggy, bro. We ate something similar, but garlic bread version. Don't worry, baby. Relax, relax, relax. Relax. It's just like a churro. You gotta. I thought she was about to. <laughs> Go ahead. Try that, baby. Oh, damn. I hear that like it's too... You disrespectful. It was just tasted way too buttery to me. This is salted butter, too. Mm -hmm. Right now, we struggling. I, I ain't got the money to get the unsalted butter. Yeah, I don't know about that, though. It's supposed to be unsalted, though. And it's supposed to be treated more like a spread. Like, it's not supposed to absorb. Yeah, well, you made it. I know, because I wasn't prepared for this. <laughs> So you said a two? Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not like that at all. You disrespectful, bro. But or yeah. she likes tuna, onion, mayo sandwiches. It's normal. <laughs> it's more normal than what you think. So we'll see you in a couple hours to do our dinner and meals. Yeah. I don't know, I'm hungry. <laughs> How you so hungry? We just ate like five different things. A hot dog, a bite of a tuna sandwich, a bite of bread, and one, so one Vienna like, sausage. <laughs> How you hungry? We just ate five different things. Yeah, a bite of each. We'll see y'all in a little bit when we make our dinner. Y'all, so it's getting pretty close to dinner time. I'm a little hungry. I happen to have something left. Bear with me. A bologna sandwich. I can't even remember the last time I've had bologna. When was the last time you've had bologna? I missed this. What, bro? I'm gonna do double balloon. Double. Yes, sir. Ski. The only thing in the world that I can eat mustard with is a bologna sandwich and a Subway sandwich. I'm gonna show you guys like a little guilty pleasure. Ooh, that's crazy because I used to eat these faithfully. Like I actually used to enjoy these. I don't, I feel like this stuff used to be so good. Why don't we eat stuff like this no more? I'm gonna show you exactly how I used to eat this as a kid. I would tear off the crust. Don't judge me because till this day, I don't know why I used to do this. I think it was like a texture thing. Yep, it tastes exactly how I remember, bro. A lot. Oh no, what you eating a snack for? It's about to be dinner time. Ew, that looks literally <laughs> disgusting. Bro, I'm not eating that. Uh, that looks like the dirty, old, rotten food that SpongeBob will find in the dumpster. <laughs> First of all, I hate bologna stir. I ate your onion tuna, tuna mayonnaise bread. Baby, I hate bologna and I don't like mustard. Okay, and I hate onions, I hate mayonnaise, I hate tuna. Come on. No, I'm gonna throw up. Come on. This looks atrocious. Ew, I don't want to. You have to. Babe, was it good? Yeah. You're disgusting. <laughs> and why you put two things of bologna? Can I get some water on standby? I'm gonna throw up. Bite it, girl. <laughs> Now she out doing it. It's just mustard, bologna, and bread. Oh she eats onions, mayonnaise, and tuna. And you're about to throw up over a meat, no. bread, and bro, be real with yourself. Yo, look at that. You're disgusting. Why does it have that texture? Bologna is a low quality meat. I'm not gonna lie to you. Chicken and pork addict. That is a <laughs> crime. Well, you just wanna go straight to dinner while we're right here? Oh my God. Let's go straight to dinner. Let's just eat dinner real quick. Well, my dinner is fast and quick and easy. <laughs> what you get for dinner? Ramen noodles. Oh, ramen noodles, yeah. okay. Classic. I pretty much just got all lunch items. I got me a TV dinner. 
a Salisbury steak. Sandwich. You should have got a case cuisine. That was a luxury. Heat up the little brownie with the mac and cheese and chicken nuggets. Here's my dinner. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Get the instant box of mashed potatoes and a thing of frozen Salisbury steak. Put it in the oven and that would be our dinner. We would get the regular TV dinner sometimes too. Like when it was on sale, we would yeah. get like five of these. These get you through a rainy day. I'm not going to count. I'm not going to lie. These are I'm thinking about it. This is valid. Like it's only, it's only 370 calories. You get corn and potatoes. That's some good macros, bro. Like you could cut weight, weight on these. Thousand milligrams of sodium is crazy for 370 calories. You know, not fan me a TV dinner. <laughs> Mashed potatoes, cold is in the middle. He gave me an Oreo. Even though I used to eat this all the time when I was in here, I'm not gonna lie, I'm actually really scared to try this. I don't know, I got bougie. Like, I really got bougie. It's <laughs> like, this is like literally mystery meat, bro. So beef or chicken? Beef. Right? That's what I thought. Let me put y'all on game. So, I was a waster. Even a waster? <laughs> I would make one pack of noodles, but still two oh, seasoning yeah. packets. I would open this and take the seasoning and just throw the, throw the extra, yeah, that's, how dare extra you. noodle away. I wouldn't I would've got beef for that, though. Did you used to get the ones in a cup or this one? I hated the ones in a cup because they really? had vegetables. Oh my God. Yeah. Microwave yeah. on high for four minutes. I haven't had ramen noodles in so long and I stay away from them because the sodium, like listen to this. No, ramen noodles are like the worst thing you put in your Bro, body. Bro, it's so bad. I think they have like It's a like made out of plastic, like oh, it's everything. Like it's just crazy. really bad. Noodles are really bad. This one pack of ramen, baby, guess how much sodium? 1,400 milligrams, bro. The recommended dosage of sodium per day is like 2,000. These are my favorite noodles. This is even worse. 550 calories, 1,630 sodium. Where's the dessert? And it says okay, to uncover the dessert. Oh, the potatoes under the Salisbury. This is the cinnamon dessert right here. Oh. We didn't used to have that. It used to be the potatoes right here, pour right here, and the meat by itself, right? That's a whole four course meal. Oh, look and on the, the front. That's what that bowl is. I, I thought that was just extra gravy. <laughs> <laughs> we should try this for a whole week. Absolutely not. If y'all like this video, we gonna do this for a whole week, bro. All of the food we got was like $60. It, it ain't even struggle food. No like, that's more. crazy. Stop playing with me. Have y'all ever heated up ramen noodle without water? <laughs> Baby. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Careful, baby. Fix it! We don't got the money to afford <laughs> these kind of losses, man. Well, dang, I was kind of looking forward to that too. He look going crazy right now. God damn. <laughs> well, look on the bright side. At least you don't got to mix anything right Where now. Where the freak did my apple pie go? Oh, <laughs> mix this, mix with the corn. Baby. I'm actually kind of sad because I was actually kind of looking forward to that. Not even gonna lie. Did you buy two of them? Whoop, she out of luck. I'm eating still. But to share with me. I got it, mama. Did you make my noodles for me and I'll clean this up? Heat it up with hot water and then throw it in the microwave for three minutes. I don't keep the water because it takes away the flavor of the seasoning. Y'all keep water in your noodles or you drain it? Definitely drain it. No, 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 no. I gotta drain it first. Bro, you're supposed to leave it like that. No, you're not. Ice me out, shawty. This is actually a lot of seasoning. So the fact that, you, first of all, you drain the water and you added two packets. Bro, you put some water in that. You don't know how to make noodles. You eat Hispanic noodles. I eat hood noodles. Are we make it how it's supposed to be made on the package. What's talking about? What do you mean? Look on the package and let me know where it, where it looks like soup. Right there. You see the hugo right there? I see the water, but that don't count. You we would just put Tabasco in ours. No, Louisiana hot sauce only. No Tabasco. This ain't Louisiana. This is Crystal. Read it. Read it. Read the label. Crystal. Keep reading. Crystal hot Keep. sauce. Read the top. Louisiana's pure crystal hot sauce. Thank you. This ain't Louisiana hot sauce though. Yeah. Yeah. It tastes right. Hurry up before it get cold. I'm scared. <laughs> you so extra, bro. Oh my god, you so extra, bro. But you like tuna onion mayonnaise. No, it's good. I'm not gonna lie. We gotta survive 24 hours. I'm this, baby. <laughs> it's been 24 hours. It'll be 24 hours in the morning. She's saying I can't eat nothing. No, you just gotta struggle with me, baby. I'll eat some crackers. That's a struggle. I'll eat a piece of bread, bro. I get a tortilla, I roll it up and eat it. Buy some. Here you go. Oh, yeah, slice of cheese. No, for real. We'll fold it in fours and eat it. I forgot about this. Enjoy. You can't leave no crumbs behind. I ain't gonna lie, that was good, but I'm not satisfied. <laughs> <laughs> It technically has not been 24 hours. When we wake up, it's gonna be 24 hours. So. Yeah, I'm getting 
food tomorrow <laughs> in the morning. There's so many more struggle meals. That That's what I'm saying, bro. We, we could do this for a whole week. A whole week is crazy. A whole know? week. We do a part fun, two. Bro. We do a part two. I'll do a full week on my channel then. Yeah, comment down below. Let us know your guys' struggle meals growing up. As always, remember having added lit opportunity. So keep your halos. And keep your head up.